Hi, sorry for that rude interruption. I think my uh, tablet's running out of memory. But as you can see, I put in a few rocks. I tidied up my horizon. I painted around the cliffs. I, I must admit, I did get a brush out for that. There are no hard and fast rules. If you need to use a brush, use a brush. So I put these rocks in in the hope that I will add a bit of structure. I'm not going to get too bogged down in that detail. But first things first, what I want to do is actually add the foam. So I can put the rocks in the foam. I think that's going to work better. I think, I think. I'm not entirely sure. But I can try out this colour as it's on my palette knife. I've just been mixing up this rock colour to try and get uh, the right difference in tones in this rock. So this is a mixture of uh, burnt sienna and yellow ochre. And as you can see, because this is now dry, and it dried within, oh, I don't know, 15 minutes, uh, I've now got this lumpy surface, which actually I think will work very well uh, when it comes to rock. So I might fill around, as I just have the colours here, and they're busy drying, doing a little bit to my rocks over here. And I said I'd like to put the dark in first, so then I could actually add some more structure to it. And uh, you're getting this nice texture actually from the paint that's already there. I need a slightly lighter tone here. So I might go on and blob those on. I'm learning a lot from Bob Ross, you know, how to make a rock. No bad thing. But I'm not going to get too high bound in the detail, otherwise I'll be here forever. So I'm just getting the feeling of those rocks and how they change colour and tone. Hey, that's working quite well. A bit on the pink side, but so I'll just add a little bit more white and some of this grey colour. <clears throat> and all the paint I've got is all busy drying. So I'm going to crack on and try and get some structure in here and add a bit more foam in a sec. So I've just squeezed out a whole bunch of more white don't like that bit. Well, that's working very well. Right. And so now I'm fapping. I'm fapping. I just want to get those nice darks in there. But I'm so conscious of my paint drying. It's driving me mad. Let's get some brown. And then make some general rock shapes. And hope it all comes out in the wash. I am making similar shapes, so I'm going to spread that around a bit because they're all quite similar shapes. And I might go f and add a little bit more detail uh, with a brush later, but I want to get these on before my paint dries out. I want the lighter colour as well, add some texture. You could even go in pasto. And um, I think I need some more shapes up here. And a bit of that brown. Yeah, they're looking pretty rocky. Um, so I'm just going to go for slightly lighter colours here to highlight some areas. And plonk something in there, no doubt. A bit of that lighter, darker colour there. And I might go back and fiddle with those later, but um, let's get on. So I'm going to take a palette knife and just to take out pure white, but I also have my previous colours that I've mixed so I can go and grab those for blending purposes when I need to. So I'm just looking at all this lovely spray around here and I'm going to put that on and you get this nice effect because you've got this texture of your previous paint on there. It's quite nice and easy to create foam, you hope. Well, I hope. And so it's going over here and again just grabbing the surface of the paint that's already on there. And I'm just looking what it's doing. So it's going behind that rock. And you can see, so it's just picking up little bits of foam. And I can take some of that nice pale green colour, if it's still alive, it just about is, and I'm going to blend it in with what's going on here, so it's not quite such a harsh line everywhere. And in fact, I think I need the more yellowy ochre one down here. So we're getting that nice idea of these waves, and there is something happening under here, under that little rock, so I'm going to put some of the 
the brown in there too, so it's not all one colour. I'm trying to keep in a wavy shape. And again, picking up pure white on the bottom of my palette eye, I'm going in here and adding those bits and the idea of this water being quite flat, going up in the rivulets. There's something over here. Creating that rock. Ooh, that's a nice shape. 